Well, first of all, for the team, that's what you do it for because you know it vital is to get those three points. And then from an individual point of view, he's looking at the, the top goal scorer. He's gone one behind Haaland now. And also from England's perspective, he'd have seen Solanke score last night. People are now talking about who's going to be the other striker that's going to go. But you could just see his level today is so high. You know, they couldn't deal with him at times. He was unlucky in the first half when he hit the post. And then second half of his goal, it was a fantastic finish. A little bit of luck with the deflection. But he is such an important player for Aston Villa. You know, and the fact that he stayed fit all season. 19 goals is, is an incredible number to receive. And so, congratulations to him. Yeah, and he's been a large part of why Villa have got themselves into the position that, that they are, which is... Three points clear of, of Tottenham, albeit having played a, a game more than them, and in fourth place because increasingly fifth is looking less likely to be a, a Champions League spot. Oh, phenomenal job what the, the manager and the players are doing. Yeah, they're, they're a good team, they're underrated, they've got a top draw centre forward, they've got a top draw goalkeeper. And they've got good players all over the pitch. They're, they're a very underrated football team, Villa. They had that little blip in the middle of the season, in the sort of the middle of the season when they couldn't win a home game, where they were so strong. Then they had that bad month. If they didn't have that bad month, they'll be sitting in second today. You know, they lost, I think, three on the trot at home or something, or three or four. So they're a good team. Hopefully they can get a result in Lille. I really hope they can. They're a very good team. And, and Watkins has improved tenfold since the manager's been there, in my opinion. He's the made manager him deserves a, so a much, much credit, Paul, doesn't he? He'd come here at the wrong time. Yeah. He followed in Exactly. Arsenal. He's a bit of a laughing a stock. Yeah. He's and a million. He's a top you know, manager. Now, we know, you know he's a top manager. He improves players. And that's, that's your job as a manager, to improve football, improve players. And he's done that with Watkins. Watkins is... You know, you, you've got to be a good player to... You know, he didn't get too many chances today. It's the inside of the post, spins around the other post. And then he scores a goal, a, a brilliant goal. Good centre-forward play. You know, he didn't have 15 chances, two chances. One, it's the post, one, he scores. He's a brilliant coach. Make yeah. no mistake. I mean, oh, it's hard on you. For Aston Villa fans, probably watching at home and here today, it's hard on your mouth at times. They play out from the back. They're so brave. They play through the lines. They're an extraordinary team. They've had a brilliant season. It would feel such a shame if, if it's... I'm really hoping that top, obviously, five teams get into the Champions League. But it'd be such a shame for the one that doesn't because they've been immense all season. In terms of their approach, coming here to, to the Emirates, knowing they're taking on this side who are chasing a Premier League title come the end of the, of the season, was it, as they, the guys are saying, quite a brave performance? And even if it is, at times, heart and mouth. Uh, they were brilliant today. I think uh, the game plan was really clear. Uh, you know, they built from the back. They, they, are, they are not scared. They can play the ball from the back. When uh, they know the Arsenal uh, are threat up, up front, especially on the side, and when after Arsenal have the, the ball in the final third, they stay really compact together. And then as soon as they have the ball, they break. And I think that's what they done. They done. They done it very, very well. It was a tight game. You, we knew that that uh, that game w was going to separate those two teams on set pieces, which it came. In the second phase of a set pieces, that's where the goal come, and then uh, the second goal was fantastic from Ole Watkins. What a striker! Um, love him because for me, I think he's he is. I think he's why he's showing. He deserves more, in my opinion. And no surprise, he got 19 goals this season, yep. and he's doing. He's, he's, his potential is unbelievable. He's going to be one of the best strikers in, in in the country, in my opinion.